Welcome to our AP Invoice Automation web series, also known as APIA. My name is Ben Nichols and I am an APIA consultant with RPI Consultants. This web series provides insight into the process and flow of the APIA solution. We cover topics such as approval via emails, searching for invoices within the solution, and other key aspects of APIA. Be sure to check out our additional videos available on our YouTube channel, RPI Consultants. Today, we'll be looking at statuses and AP roles with inside of APIA. It's important to note that the account that I've logged into Rich Client with has access to both the AP Administrator, AP Manager, AP Processor, and AP Viewer role, as seen on the screen. If you log into APIA and there are no tiles present with inside of your Canvas, make sure that you're in your financial data area, sometimes labeled LMFIN, and then once you've accessed the LMFIN data area, be sure to click in search and type in AP. Based on your security and your roles, you'll have access to the above tiles. And if you are missing anything on your canvas, just click on the item and drag it to your canvas and it will add a tile. Today we'll be jumping in and taking a look at statuses. And it's important to note that with inside of the AP viewer, AP processor and AP manager section, some of these areas look very similar, but have a few key differentiations. As we run through the presentation, I'll do my best to point out these differentiations. Let's go ahead and jump into an AP processor role and click on process invoices. Now what you'll see based on configuration is your statuses. Sometimes dependent on your configuration, your statuses are either on the left and are in a, in a vertical fashion, or they're up top in a horizontal fashion, just dependent on your configuration. In this example, we'll see that the invoices status are, in this example, we'll see that the statuses are listed horizontally up top for us. We'll start from left to right with unassigned, Unassigned represents an invoice that's come into APIA and does not have an AP processor assigned. In order to understand what this means, we need to understand what an AP processor refers to with inside of APIA. An AP processor is assigned to each invoice via assignment rules, which determines what invoices go to which AP clerk or AP processor. In the event that an invoice comes into APIA and there's not an assignment rule that specifies who is responsible as an AP processor for this invoice, the item is sent to the unassigned queue. This helps, this can help system administrators identify when a new rule may need to be created in order to assign a processor to the invoice. It's important to note that if an item also comes in assigned, a processor can manually be assigned to an invoice as well. We will not be going through an example of that in today's video. Our pending approval state will show any items that we are assigned as the processor to, meaning whoever is logged in to Rich Client, their user will only see the items that are assigned to them in the pending approval, unsubmitted, approved, rejected, sent for payment, paid, and canceled section. In the event that you need to see all items, this can be done and accomplished from an AP manager's view or by using the search criteria, which we'll talk about towards the end of this video. But it's important to note that with inside of these queues, we will see items only assigned to ourselves or our user. Pending approval means that the invoice has been submitted for approval and is routing through the defined approval matrix in order to complete the approval process. This gives us a visual of all items that are outstanding approval. Next, we'll talk about the approved section. The approved status indicates an invoice that has been approved and completed the approval process. Dependent on your business needs or the configuration of your APIA solution, items may stop with inside of the approved status for a processor to review prior to submitting for payment. There are some instances and there is functionality 
that allows APIA to automatically push approved items straight through to send for payment. What this means is that at the point of an item being approved, it is immediately interfaced into Lawson via S3. In the event that the setting is not checked, the item stops with inside of the approved queue and requires a processor to review the invoice and confirm that all required information is present prior to submitting to Lawson. It is important to note that even if auto send for payment is enabled, if the invoice has any errors, which will be discussed in further videos, that the invoice will still stop prior to submitting to Lawson and will require a processor to review the invoice and correct the errors. Next, we have our rejected status. This queue represents any items that have been sent for approval and have been rejected. When an item is rejected, an approver has to designate the rejection reason. That way, a processor has an idea of what is required for the invoice and the next steps in order to push it through the process. As you can see here, the reason we have selected a miscellaneous rejection. Reasons can be defined with inside a configuration, and this can help provide better information to the processor of what needs to occur with the invoice or why it was rejected. Next, we have our status sent for payment. This means that the item has interfaced into Lawson successfully and that it is awaiting payment through the remaining Lawson processes. Our paid status represents any invoices that have been paid and have completed the process with inside of Lawson. This information is sent back to APIA. That way, a processor or a user that has access to APIA can see that the invoice has been paid. Our canceled status provides a way for an invoice to be canceled instead of rejected. What this means is that the invoice is still stored with inside of APIA. It is not rejected, but it is stored and canceled almost like a void, but it is kept as a record in order to prevent duplicate invoices from being sent into APIA in the future. Last but not least, we have our search section. Our search section allows to search for all items with inside of APIA, regardless of the processor or the status that the invoice is in. It's important to note that these are the primary parameters that are available out of the box for APIA to search on. Some of these fields will allow you to click and search based on the values that you can see with inside of Lawson, such as your companies, such as your process levels, your statuses, your company, your vendors, or your AP processors. And some fields are free text fields. In order to initiate a search, fill out one of the items. We're gonna go ahead and select company, and we'll click search, and then our search results will be presented. In order to initiate a fresh search, click clear, and then search and all items will be returned. You have the ability to sort on several of these fields. Anything that has an arrow with inside of the column allows for sorting. This last tab is not a status, but is a custom view that has been set up for a customer in order to accomplish a business process. It's important to note that there are some views available that can pull back additional information which can allow for more refined filtering with inside of the solution. Next, we're gonna show an example of how the AP processor, AP manager, and AP viewer sections look very similar. As an AP manager, we also have the process invoices section. We can select this and it looks identical to the AP processor view. We can also select Manage Invoices. This provides additional information for a manager. As you can see, we can see the dashboards, and then with inside of any one of the statuses, we see all invoice items regardless of the processor. So there is no filtering like the AP Processor section that refines the results of the invoice to just the processor logged in.
Last but not least, we have the AP Viewer section. This is a view-only section that provides view-only information on items with inside of APIA. The user has the ability to view only any of the statuses of the invoice and also has the ability to access dashboards. We appreciate you taking the time today to join us. We also encourage you to check out additional videos on APIA or other services and solutions provided by RPI on our YouTube channel, RPI Consultants. If you have any interest in APIA or any other services or solutions provided by RPI Consultants, please visit us at www.rpic.com.